Hey guys, it's Erica here from Big Cat Creative, and today I'm going to show you how to create a form that redirects to a separate page in Squarespace. So let's just jump right in. Okay, so I'm just in a test 7.1 site at the moment. This will work really similarly in 7.0 as well. If there's any differences, I'll show you, but it's pretty much the same thing. As long as you know how to design a page in either 7.0 or 7.1, because that's the first thing we're going to do. We're going to design our thank you page or the page that we want the form to redirect to. So in your pages, I recommend probably creating this in your not linked section. So not linked basically just means that it's not linked in one of the main menus. So it's still an active page on your website. It's just not linked in your main menu or your footer menu or your mobile menu or anywhere people can easily find it, but it's still an active page. So that will work quite well for this redirect page because we really only want people to see it if they're being redirected from a particular form. So go ahead and click plus and I'm just going to start with a blank page. If you're in 7.0 it's going to look a little bit different than this but pretty similar and I'm just going to call this my thank you page. You can call it whatever you want. Okay so we've got our blank page. I'm going to click edit in the top. I'm in 7.1 so I need to add a section. I'm just going to add a blank section and just do a very quick example of this. I'm not going to show you really how to design your thank you page. If you want to learn about how to design in 7.1 or 7.0, classic editor versus fluid engine, depending on what you're using. We have so many tutorials on how to actually design in Squarespace. That's not what this video is about. So I'm just going to quickly add a bit of text to my page. And I'm just going to say, thank you for signing up. Click here to download your freebie. Okay, so you can do anything to this page. It's a completely customizable page. What I want to show you is how to hook this page up to a form so it redirects to this page. And also I'm going to show you how to connect an easily downloadable file or a link. So let's say this is our page complete. Obviously it's not looking beautiful. You can add whatever you want to this page, but I'm going to move on from here. So go ahead and save it. And I'm going to show you now how to actually hook this up to a form. So your audience is redirected to this page after they sign up to the form. So I'm just going to go to my home page and add a form. So click edit on your page and anywhere you want to add the form, click add block and add a form. Now, if you are using 7.0, adding blocks is a little bit different. There's no add block button. You just click on the plus and it's basically the same thing. You want to add a form block. So the forms should work exactly the same in either version. Double click to open up the settings. Make sure you add all of the settings that you want to in your form. You can do the form name, button text, edit all of the form fields within this menu here. Add, remove and shift fields around. There's lots of things you can do with the form. It's very customizable. But what you'll want to focus on is the post submit. So after submission, you can either add a message, which is really helpful if you just wanted to add a thank you and maybe you didn't want to redirect to a whole page, or you can redirect. So if you click redirect, it's going to ask for your redirect URL. So you can either type in the URL of the page you just created, or if you don't actually know the URL, you can click on this cog. Make sure page is selected and then search for the page. So mine was called thank you page. Here it is here. Select, save. And now when someone submits this form, they're going to be instantly redirected to this page. So it is that simple. That is how easy it is to redirect someone to a thank you page or a page where they can watch a training or download a freebie. So same applies for the form on 7.0. Of course, make sure to add in all your content, any design settings, and most importantly, set up the storage so that you know where your form is actually going to. And when it's all done, click save. So let's test it out really quickly. I'm gonna click submit and it should redirect me to the thank you page, which it's done. So super easy, super straightforward. Now I'll just show you quickly how you can add a downloadable file to this page. 
So of course you can do whatever you want with this page. Maybe you want to add a free training directly on this page, or you want to add images, or you want to add information directly on the page that people need to access after they fill out the form. The options really are endless because this page is completely customizable. So that opens a lot of opportunity for what you can do with your forms and this page. And you can do that by using all of the different blocks. So if you wanted to add a training, you could add a video block. If you wanted to add information, you could use text and image blocks to create a totally custom page. So lots of options. But if you did want to add a downloadable file, you do that by adding a link or a button. So you can either add a button block and add a link to the button. Or you can just add a link to any text. It's really similar, so I'm just going to highlight click here and either click this little link button to add a link. Okay, so you can see the link panel there and what it looks like. Or I can double click to open up the button settings and add a link here. So it's the same exact panel. So let's say I want to add a downloadable file to the button. What I'm going to do is click on this cog and I'm actually going to click on file. So you can upload any type of file here, whether it's a PDF or a zip or a JPEG image. Okay, so I'm gonna click upload file and this is where you can upload any file. I'm going to just choose one of the first things I see, which is one of our logos. But let's just say this is a downloadable PDF or a workbook or a video, or you can even combine a bunch of files into a zip file and upload it. Once you've uploaded it, you'll see it here in this file list and you can select it, click save, and you'll see it's here in the button link. Just click out of the settings panel and click save on the page and that's gonna save it into the button. So then when someone lands on this page, they click on the link to download, it's going to open up that file that they can then download from there. So depending on the file type, it'll show up a little bit differently or it might automatically start downloading. Because this is an image, it just opens up in a new window, which is pretty standard. But either way, it really makes it easy for them to download it and save it. So that's how you would add a downloadable link. Otherwise, this page is completely customizable and you can add whatever you want to it. Whether it's just a note to say thank you or it's a complete course that was hidden behind the form, that's how you add a redirect page to your Squarespace form. Okay, I hope you found that helpful. If you've got any questions, drop them in the comments below. If you like this video, you'll probably like this one too, so definitely check that out. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe and I will see you in the next one.